This here, behind this brick, is the Marietta Micro Center. And depending on when this video goes up, you might see it before or after our little mini series that we're doing. Anyway, we've been tasked with building a system for $500 in Micro Center. 500 bucks is already a tight budget. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work, but if there's any place that can make $500 work for a decent rig, it is Micro Center. I think this is the perfect chance to explore that. So if we can put one together, we'll build it in store and then we'll give it away randomly. I think we'll just walk up to some random person on the street, and just ask them if they want a PC and just give it to them. But uh, yeah, let's see if it's possible. Are you ready? Stay with us. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. So $500 it is. This is gonna be tough. Micro Center has plenty of clearance items. We're definitely gonna be checking those out. I think that's where we're gonna get the most value for money and uh the person to be around when hunting for budget parts is my man connor over there because he knows the ins and outs of this store the better price would be Ryzen. you get a 4500 for like 75 bucks That's what on I was the saying, intel yeah. side it's like a 12400 i believe those are going to be i think around like 120. so this here they've printed out uh basically the cheapest feasible rig we could put together without making like real real compromises on like the power supply like the one you just showed us so 337 bucks you see that price tag right there? That is dirt cheap. We're all about savings. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have a graphics card on the list, but that's because we have a 5600G in here. So if you wanted just an APU rig, a little over 300 bucks, you could get that and walk out with actually an okay platform. So what can that support? Can I play Call of Duty? You could play Call of Duty in like 480p. What does that mean? It's like half of 1080p. So it's like Minecraft? It's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. You know we mean business when we open up the cabinet. Wow, look at there. And I see it says 129 and what's it marked down to? $75. 75. Hey, this might be an older chip, but for this price, that's a killer deal. All right, 75 bucks, that's to start. We've got uh, 425 left. Let's find a dirt cheap AM4 motherboard, shall dirt we? Cheap. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what's the- uh, micro ATX for that price right Yeah, now. I think so, what, 80 bucks for this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good price. So B450M mm -hmm. and uh, it's an Asus board. I'm happy with that. Making sure, wow, you have DDR3, was that eight gigs for 30 bucks? Indeed. Wow, you can't find DDR3 too much anymore. They're starting to go up in price, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, a dying that's brand. That's pretty sweet. Right yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do um. Let's do the Vulcan C. I've I've built with those many times, and I think that's a really good price for 16 gigs. Not going to be picky about cast latency and timings in this budget. Just yeah. Whatever we can get. Mmm, boy. Mm. <laughs> oh, <God>. Excuse <laughs> me, sir. So we've got about 300 left. Uh, maybe you think we could do 200 on a graphics card, and then. The other hundred on a case in storage. Got my sharpen card. That's when you know you're in trouble in Micro Center. When you get the carts out, you're gonna spend some money. I lost uh, track of my cart. Will stole it. But uh, here are the cases, and this is where we're gonna have to make some serious concessions. We have a Micro ATX motherboard, which I think that's gonna work in our favor. A Micro ATX case should be a little cheaper, and we've got a few selections actually. So we've got the dirt cheap, what the Q300L from Cooler Master. That was like 30 bucks. And then we have the Thermal Take H18, I believe. So you could do 25 bucks for 512 gig, two and a half inch SSD. You could do $20 for 256 gig, or you could do $15 for 128 gigs. That is awesome. And so that leaves us with the card, the last thing to get right. And this is the 6600 Challenger from uh, ASRock. And we've actually built this before. This is like one of the cheapest cards you can find either in store or online in this performance range. Um, so yeah, 220, it's a done deal. Done. Let's do it. Oh, small box, and here she flies. is. Yeah, that's 500 watts. That's plenty for this rig. And uh, what, yeah, 42 bucks. Braided cable sleeve. I'm not gonna complain. It's a budget rig, but- it's Completely modular. It's better than that $15 power supply that you found over it's there. It's not modular, is it? No, Dicks. it's not gonna be modular. It's course, modular. It's not modular. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got our goodies. And uh, speaking of goodies, we also got $1,500 gift cards here. So uh, peeps that show up throughout the week, we're gonna be here at the Marietta Micro Center and the Duluth one a bit later. Um, yeah, people could win these. So let's get this rig together and then we're gonna find a unique way to give it away. Speaking of, two folks showed up and they've been super patient. You guys okay with being on video? Yeah, okay. Cool, okay, yeah, so uh, 
I tweeted about gift cards. I said, folks, just show up. And then maybe they can go around and spend in some gift card money at Micro Center. Who knows? Yeah. So I've got perfect two of these. They are unmarked, my friends, but I can assure you they both have $100 each on them. Thank you so much. So, yeah, it's, it's, it must be super dirty. cool to live next to a Micro Center, though. You oh, know? Yeah. Whenever you need parts, you just swing it. Uh, uh, I actually spent a couple hundred dollars like early in the year. Uh, oh, wow. And got like a bundle from here, and I got like uh, 32 gigs of uh, DDR5 and the 370 and things. So was nice. Wow, yeah, wow. We just take a pit stop right here and come back. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. That's so <laughs> cool. I, I envy that. I wish I had something like this closer. Golly. So I just give our case a quick once over here. This was an open box, so that's why we got it so cheap. Let's get our platform together and toss it in here. Mmm, boy. And then we're gonna lower that retention arm. And then we've got two sticks of DDR4. You know, I miss how simple it is to put together a simple build. No RGB crazy wirings or anything like that. This is gonna be a very straightforward rig. And here we go. We got the IO shield in there, don't worry. It's gonna sit something like that right there. Yeah, looking good. How's it look from the rear, Well, He likes looking at things from the rear. Oh, we can't forget about this cable, by the way. Chassis fan going in. I said, if you want, Micro Center will build your system for you. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering that. I'm just like, <laughs> just a bunch of people around. This stubborn USB 3 cable is not long enough to route behind the motherboard tray and then connect way down here in this awkward spot on this board. So it's just going to have to chill in front of everything. My apologies to whoever wins this. In goes the two and a half inch SSD. It'll just sit like that right there. Next up. Power supply. So that just slides in here. We've got our power supply bracket from this case already on, and it's gonna sit something like that right there. I don't know why ASRock does this. So one thing that annoys me with these cards, they're great prices, ASRock, but you guys put so much of this plastic on there, and then it tears, and then it just causes headaches, and you see, you see what I'm doing? And then you leave these marks on here, and then, yeah, yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. Ig ignore the smudge, but everything else looks really clean. Uh -huh. mm, boy, that's the good stuff right there. In goes the graphics card. What a tight fit, but that looks pretty darn good. Honestly, $500 rig, this actually looks decent. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is looking like something now that you've ever seen. Connecting right th th there. We'll take a zip tie, tie the daisy chain one back here, and uh, there we go. I'm only doing this because Jacob asked me to. He's like <laughs> super big on the sticker thing. If the, uh, <laughs> if the owner of this doesn't want it, you just pull it off, no pressure. <laughs> Probably want to do that. Proudly brought to you by Ryzen 5. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's any RGB in this. We just didn't care because it was a budget build and I think I prefer it that way. So we're gonna power her on here. We're gonna power it on up front. Oh, see, well, we got some RGB. There's an amber LED in there. <laughs> that counts, right? See that thing underneath it's, it's the graphics card? not even picking up. Oh, okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly okay. We've got it hooked up here to our portable monitor, which is also off currently, but um, when it posts, yes, it's posting now. See that, see that, see that? Yeah, there it is. Now that it's posted, um, we're going to install Windows. I brought my Windows boot drive and uh, we'll get that on here. And then once that's taken care of, we'll be ready to give it away. That's pretty cool. Right, so this actually turned out really well. For 500 bucks, the fact that you can build something like this in Micro Center and not cut too many corners. I mean, this is a, a healthy combination of parts for this price range. Uh, really happy about it. The only thing left to do then is give it away to somebody. And I think I know who we need to give it away to. We just have to wait for that particular clientele to walk through the door. Looking for someone younger, maybe like age 10 to 12, somewhere in that range. Maybe this will be their first PC. This will actually game quite well. So Hopefully it'll be a nice surprise for them. A few moments later. Oh, I think this is Apex. This is what he plays. Oh, That's what Jacob Legends. plays. Apex Legends, yeah. Valorant. yeah, yeah. Oh, this is Valorant? Mm -hmm. See, that shows you how much I know. <laughs> you okay with being on camera? I don't mind. Okay, because uh, I have decided that uh, you are the perfect candidate. That computer right there is yours. Wow. How about that? <laughs> yeah, we just built it here and I was looking for someone a little younger, maybe just getting their feet wet with the computers and you haven't even touched computers, so perfect. 
<laughs> so there you go. It's not anything super fancy, but it is a really good entry level rig. It'll let you play you know, all your normal games, Fortnite and all that, Minecraft. It'll it'll shred frames in Minecraft. But uh, yeah, it's brand new. Literally just built it today. Wow. So uh, you want to check it out? Or you can double it and pass it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to plug your, uh, whatever you have like monitor wise, TV wise, you wanna plug it into this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this here will handle all your gaming. You know, no problem. It's gonna be way better, I think, than your Switch experience. Yes, and, yes. Uh, a lot better. Yeah, and it's just, it's already got Windows on it for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Thank you. Um, you literally just need a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Let's um, here, come this way. With them. We'll go you got, you got a minute? Yeah, come with me. Are they gonna be a little jelly? And, yeah, and they're like way older than me. Like my brother's about to get one. Oh jeez. So, uh, you need a keyboard, right? Yes. You need a keyboard and, and you're gonna need a mouse, right? So, I mean, you got a whole aisle here. Um, what do you like? You like RGB? A whole nother aisle. Yeah. Oh yeah, go go further on the right. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're headed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we've got uh, I honestly like these keyboards are really expensive, but they they kick butt. They're they're really good. Um, so pink, pink? yeah, Best color. get your pink one. In in my in my experience, pink is my favorite. Do you actually like pink? Yes. Do you actually want this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, that's. There you go. <laughs> just like, here, let that's me just pretty fire. And go, I'm like, you got good taste. So we should probably go with a razor mouse too. I I would personally. That's up to you. Um, we just come to school tomorrow. Oh. With just no mouse. Yo. Oh my gosh, perfect. Is that fire or what? Yes. Well, check it out. We're gonna have matching proofs here. Mouse pad. Where's the mouse pad? Uh, right behind you. Okay. Oh, so, you do you like? So, oh, dude, a pink one. Yo. Wait, there's an anime Every... one right there. Yeah. Let's get. Let's get something that's just like really easy to plug in. Yeah. This works because I use these all the time for my random setups that I put together. Okay. Cool. So that'll give you internet. Okay. And now I think combine that with the headset you were gonna get. I think we're good now. What you gotta do is like set it all up on your table and then get yourself a nice setup shot. Yeah, man. Oh man, then you share that online. You're gonna have, mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta watch out too because the ladies get into this stuff too, you know. <laughs> yeah. you, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna flex too hard. There you are, yep. And then, uh, there you go, man. yeah, awesome. all the perifs cool. taken yeah. care of and uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I wish there was a way I could see the setup. I really wanna see the setup once you get it all together. It's gonna yeah. look sick. Thank you guys for watching and uh, Thanks for coming out. Uh, honestly, I would hope this is a bit of a surprise for you, but uh, appreciate you being a good sport and uh, yeah, tell me I about mean, your honestly, experience. I appreciate you actually letting me get all of this. Yeah. Especially letting my dad let me get a PC, a humongous setup that he would never buy in his life. There you go, baby. And yet, like every single time I will ask him, he will always go, no. You gotta earn it, right? You gotta work for it. That's right. That's how I was. You gotta work for it. Yeah. But sometimes, every now and then, you run into something like this. Just, just make good use of it. That's all I ask. Well, that's a wrap. That was a fun one. Uh, we're gonna try to do more stuff like this throughout the week while we're here in Atlanta. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Henry sounds like he did, and uh, can't wait to see the setup when he gets it all together. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the the video, comment, do whatever you gotta do, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. My name's Greg. Thanks for learning with me.